Welcome, Welcome to Scotland! <laughs> We're Drew Vigari, I'm Priscilla, and that's Chris. And we've built Telfan from scratch. We're very proud of that. And we're on the road. We're going on an adventure. Our plans constantly change weekly, if not hourly. So who knows where the road might take us. So come along for the ride and enjoy the journey with us. So guys, basically this has been quite a cool day for us. It's been a day in the making for somewhat, I don't know, 18 months or so when we first decided to build the van. Um, obviously we had to save a bit of money, get a van, Building. and we've had a couple of hurdles on the way, but today is the day we accomplish a little part of that dream. We made it. We made it into Scotland and I'm so super pumped for the next couple of days and what's come, what's coming. You know, hey? Like just wait. if you look at this beach, it's picturesque. We literally are the only people here. Beautiful. Yeah, and we like what we're about half an hour now from Edinburgh, um, which is cool because we can wake up in the morning and we can head into town. We don't have issues with parking tonight, and look, we literally there's nothing nothing around so and there's nobody there's nobody <laughs> which is cool morning it's a beautiful day temperature is going to be 28 today and I cannot wait at the moment we are in Dunbar in Scotland yes we finally made it it's official we are here it's day one and we're just gonna take it slow take it easy we're gonna see as much as we can see and um yeah that's basically it at the moment we're at this really cool place i have absolutely no idea anything about it because i haven't read anything yet but we are here and what, do you know anything about it okay we so we had dunbar battery uh this is obviously where they they protected this, this area of scotland from and it was built way back when um i think it's called <laughs> the near Pollock wars or something anyway don't worry guys, we'll, we'll brush up on our history and we'll let you know a little bit more as we go along but we're getting into it slowly. Know, one thing I do know. What? They've moved the cannons that used to be over here to Edinburgh Castle and we headed over there later today so hopefully we can brush up on our history by then. Hopefully. <laughs> so we're just going to enjoy this beautiful view that is behind us. It is absolutely amazing. I'm going to show you a little snippet of it now. It's beautiful. Um, we literally are the only people here. It's so quiet. Um, been seeing some seals. Um, so yeah. So we checked out the the spies. Uh, Thirty tons of steel, thirty-five meters high. It's pretty impressive. Has the cost of fortune. Looks like it's made of aluminium. I think or stainless steel. Um, unfortunately, we're not going to see them with the lights on because we're making our way to the Falkirk Wheel. But I think that's going to be pretty epic in itself. A little information on the Falkirk Wheel, they are fitted out for camping, so it's £15 a night, including your ablution blocks and water. The only thing that they don't have is waste disposal. Now, we did see one of the other campers leaving their spot to get out of the sun, so of course, our first reaction was we needed to take it before anyone else did. And I'm pretty glad we did, because we ended off the evening with a beautiful view.
So good morning everyone and welcome back to another episode of Coffee Mornings. <laughs> the only way we get up for the day. <laughs> oh no, we are now, where are we now? We stayed the night at the Falkirk Wheel. The Falkirk Wheel, yeah. Um, we basically got here, it was sort of unplanned and we just decided to stay because it looked like a nice park up, it was flat, next to a field great view so we just decided to chill we actually met uh, quite a few people here last night as well uh, all in other campers not camper vans but campers and we learned quite a few things last night we did a little bit of phoning around the world using a, a ham radio a ham radio yeah, that's quite cool Ham radio. Yeah. I mean, how long since you saw one of them? <laughs> Probably about 25 years. Yeah, even me. That's crazy. Cool. I think the last time I saw this, one of these was on Boy Scout. <laughs> and we were messing around on the weekend. <laughs> So that was pretty cool. Um, and yeah, we've woken up to a, a bit of a misty morning, but supposedly meant to be about 28 degrees today. So once the sun comes out, I'm sure it'll burn this all up and we can enjoy the day. We're just waiting now for this. The Falkirk wheel <laughs> to work. I but always feel like I'm saying <laughs> I'm going to say something different. We saw them testing something it just wrong. now. Um, I sort of went around, but it wasn't. So fun fact is this thing actually just works on, is it six or eight? I think it's six, he said. Six kettles? The same energy as six kettles. Yes. Mm. So this big object works on like the energy of six kettles, which is crazy. But it's, we can't wait to watch it like in action because it's, it's a pretty awesome piece of engineering, hey babe? Yeah. It's, um, it's massive, actually. Mm. So we're doing this little um, forest walk and we discovered like a thousand mushrooms, all different shapes and sizes. Like weird one. stuff, like weird, weird stuff. Look at this one. Like, look at this thing. Like what is that? I'm not sure. Anyway, so we're scheming, we're thinking, we're like, hmm, I wonder if there's truffles here. So we're like trying to Google how to find truffles at the bottom of these pine trees. Um, it's the most amazing forest that we're in at the moment. It's literally huge and massive, and it's actually a really cool walk. Um, I know in Scotland there's quite a few forests, um, so definitely if you are up in the area, you need to check them out. Uh, from here, we're gonna try and head over and find somewhere to do some washing. And once we've done that, we're gonna hit the road. Um, do chores. chores first, and then <laughs> we're gonna hit the road towards the west. Um, Trying to find the route, hey? Okay. Yeah, trying to start the adventure of the NC500. We don't really have any solid plans of what we're going to do yet, um, but we know we're going west because the weather's supposed to be better. It's a bit rainy today. It's not too bad though, it's still not. Well, we are covered by the trees, which is cool. But it's, yeah, it's like a little bit rainy, but I think 
as we head more west, it's going to start to clear up. And we're pretty excited for what it has in store for us. I'm going to go get my bliss on single milk whiskey and a more ranchy. <laughs> Hopefully I will be... Um, a little bit wiser. A little bit wiser, but I was going to say because I have no clue. And I actually, I don't even like the taste of this. So hopefully, I'll be converted. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe.